what's up everyone it's me dj brentley here and my lovely assistant mirabelle rose she's chilling at the house today while i head out to winona and cedar creek barn for today's wedding i haven't been there in a few years so i'm leaving now which is a little earlier than i normally would leave just so i can make sure i have everything in order and because the ceremony spot is like a two block walk up a hill with no power i want to make sure i'm ready to go up there as well so i'm gonna uh and 4.0 is already loaded up so i'm just gonna go get cleaned up and head on out i'll check in with everybody once we get up to cedar creek so i'm all loaded in here at cedar creek barn in winona and this was the loading today which has changed from the last time i was here it's actually it was a really difficult load in for my main setup and I've got to do some power testing today now and get my uh line tester out because I do not feel comfortable today with this and I'll show you why here this is their uh power junction box and it's held together with duct tape I'm really kind of freaked out by it actually and I will show you the other part of it why it's even more it's freaking me out even more but i'm gonna go test my lines in just a little bit to make sure i'm not gonna blow anything up or get hurt anyway the ceremony now is way up that way where that uh wind vane is and uh that's where parking is the head and this is the rest of the grounds like i said it's been a long time since i've been here and i really do not remember this power cable running from that box through the window. So I got a little bit of work to do, but I'm gonna show you the other part of it in just a sec. Now here's the junction box inside with power. And it looks like somebody did spend a lot of money buying a bunch of electric cords and went inside the box and put all the lines from the breakers out. I've seen this before for a temporary fix for some things, but I am truly not feeling very comfortable about doing this today. So in just a minute, I'm gonna go get my line testers out and see where we're at. And here's how it comes in the building, their power for that box, which I'm pretty sure goes all throughout the building as well, but that's what we're working with today. And so I've tested all of my power today and I get one power source. It's that outlet right there. There is nothing else near me, and so I've got one outlet to work with today. With that, I'm not gonna be using my subwoofers. Uh, I will be using my floor monitor, but I'm gonna switch that speaker out for something else once we get over that way for uh, the dinner area, and you'll see why. But I'm gonna strip down to the smallest and least power consuming stuff I have today. Um, yeah, so that's my outlet, and somebody did that. We'll see how all this goes today. And so here we are, all set up at Cedar Creek Barn in Winona. Like I said, I've stripped down my setup today. Even though you see everything, I'm not using everything. So uh, let's go with this. I have got two LD Systems ICOA speakers, 15 inch. Uh, I am not using my Soundtown subs today. Uh, with that, I'm using a custom made front board for my daughter's grandfather. Um, I've got two light trees. Those are American DJ. And on those American DJ light stands, I have eight Shobe Slim Par 56. My speaker poles today are from Odyssey, and my scrims are from Amazing Gear. And I will take you behind the booth in just a sec. And today in the booth, I am using my MacBook Pro 16 on an Odyssey 360 laptop stand. A Pioneer DJ, DDJ 1000 for record box. Because everybody knows, I, if you've watched before, I broke my, broke my Flex 10. I'm using the record box, RB DMX1 uh, lighting mode box, DMX box, whatever you want to call it. And that's a downer transmitter. And those go back to my lights right there. And right there, uh, those are my receivers. I use JBL headphones, and I prefer on-ear, not over-ear headphones. They're just a little lighter and smaller. In my seismic audio rolling rack case, I like to call my command center. I have got a radial engineering power conditioner. I have got Phoenix Pro PTU 5000 microphone kit. I have got a Phoenix Pro PTX20 soundboard. My front board light today is something I found on Amazon to replace my Atkins Professional. This was a lot cheaper and seemingly a lot brighter 
with more options than the Atkins, so I went with it. My floor monitor today is a Behringer 15 inch speaker. And that's the long and the short of it here today inside the booth. And this is the walking way all the way up to the ceremony spot. It's way up that way. So uh, I'm gonna start walking. I've got about an hour and 20 minutes before the ceremony starts. And I know this is gonna take me about 15 minutes to walk all the way up there. And since uh, 4.0 is already back in lacrosse, I get to walk. Now, somebody is bringing my gear down from here later because I need to use that for dinner hour and social hour as well. Anyway, I'm heading up now. So we're up here at the ceremony spot for uh, Cedar Creek Barn here in Winona. And they have a super small ceremony today. It's like 35, 40 people. But here's the spot. Here's where they walk from. And here's my setup today. And with that, I am using one Mackie Thump 12. I am using a Phoenix Pro PTU 52 uh, wireless mic set. I'm using my iPad for music, and it will all be run into my speaker from the Rapco Horizon LTI blocks right here. And there's your volume for it. It's super simple to use. And for power up here today, I am using a Halo Bolt battery, and I will show you that now. It's nice and neatly tucked away underneath my scrim, but here's my Halo Bolt. And I can power all of this setup for about two hours if I need. Uh, this is supposed to be a fairly short and quick ceremony today, but that's the long and the short of my ceremony uh, setup for today. Yeah. joy to celebrate the union of these two amazing people, Autumn and Dan. And now I think this might give you a better idea of how high up we actually are from here. That's the barn, that ceremony spot up there. And it's easily a 10, 15 minute walk down. I'm not kidding because of how this road loops all the way down and around there for your safety, I guess. So you're not walking up a super steep grade. But ceremony's done. Now I gotta go set up for the reception down there. Or not set up for the reception, rather set up for dinner and social out in the gazebo. All right, back soon. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon. I'm Bradley. I'm your DJ and I'm gonna be with you for the entire reception. In just a couple moments, dinner service is about to begin, but before that, we need to welcome the wedding party into the reception. So if you haven't already, if you could please find your way to your seats and make sure your beverages are filled for toasts later, that would be great. Ladies and gentlemen, if you please assist me in welcoming the wedding party in this evening's reception. Coming first, we have Danielle and John. Everybody can please get up on their seats, put their hands together, and make some noise for our newlyweds, Mr. and Mrs. Hirschbeck. All right, well, we would like to thank everybody here, friends, family, and friends who are family, for making this day possible. And Autumn has a couple words too. Uh, well, I was going to say, but thank you everybody for making the trip. I know some of you came quite a long ways. Um, we appreciate you all here. We're excited to party with you guys. Um, the DJ is going to let you know when your table can go grab some tacos. And we can't wait to party. So, um, uh, My name is Molly. Hi, Molly. Hi. Hi. Welcome to AA. <laughs> and it's my privilege and honor to be here as Autumn's Matron of Honor. Glad to be uh, for those of you who don't know me, I am George Hirschbeck, the brother of the groom, and the best man on this occasion celebrating Sam and Autumn. Lost in
Andrew doing a sparkler tunnel tonight, and we're just about to get going with that. 